That's Integration Workshop 6.2, Collaboration, Cooperation and Sharing. And this time we're going to be talking about the Teaching Tour. Now this is something that I've worked on for a little while with some student teachers. And it's all about collaborating, cooperating, sharing resources. I'm just going to switch now to a different film. Now, it does not matter what topic we're doing here, but in this case I've arranged my, I have 25 students in this class. It doesn't matter on the numbers, on the size, the groups, whatever. And, but I've arranged them into five groups. Now, for the sake of this, uh, let's do um, science because I'm, I enjoy science. And we're going to do um, different types of nanotechnologies. Right, so this might be carbon nanotubes, this might be um, um, self-cleaning paint, self-cleaning glass, um, um, buckyballs and so on. Right, so you've got five different topics that you want the students to cover. Each student you hand a very specific um, set of instructions, right? So you say you are going to cover whatever the top task one is and these are the things you need to research because you're going to be presenting it back to the group. So the students will spend some time together researching and marking their work uh, and, and design their work. Okay. When you're doing this, uh, and you, you go around as a teacher and you're watching what they're doing and you're, and you're encouraging them to get some work done. So, and then what you would, what's going to happen is one of the students in each group will become the presenter or the leader. Now there's lots of different ways of choosing this. You can be random, the kids can choose their own. Um, I sometimes get the, uh, the worst student, I guess you'd say, or the, uh, the one that's uh, having the most trouble to be the presenter. Um, sometimes you take the second person, not the leader, because the second people quite often cruise. Um, and they let the leaders do all the work and they just take all the, um, get all the easy stuff done. So once you've chosen, but basically what's going to happen is these four students in this group are going, or these five students are going to research their work and put together a little presentation. Okay, so I've got the different groups here. So they're going to research their topic. They're going to prepare their presentation. They're going to, this person's our presenter. They're going to practice by teaching the, the group back to here. And then what's going to happen is they're going to move around. So group one, once, so the, first of all, they would say that here we've got 15 minutes to research, 10 minutes to prepare their presentation. And then my, my leader is presents back and, and practices, right? so practice teaching back to the same group. Now really, this group here should know the work themselves so they can give this this person feedback. So, well, you've got to say about this. Yes, you've got to talk a bit fast. Oh, you haven't covered this. And so they give the feedback to that student to make them a little bit more confident. Then what happens is the groups will all move around. So group one moves around, group two moves around, and so on. All right, so they're all, they've all moved around. And now my presenter is going to present their group one's information to the people from group five and so on for each of the other groups. And they'll move around, right? So now he's doing group four and then three and then two and then group one, they come back. Now, once they get back, group one has been going around and finding out and research, finding out all the information from other groups and then they come back and teach this person, right? So this they're recapping basically. As a teacher, you've done no work in this lesson, right? So that you've done the preparation work beforehand. You've planned out the different bits of work that you want them to do and the different information you want them to cover. As a teacher, I tend to walk around and go, well, have you said, have you noticed about um, in carbon nanotubes that they, whatever, you know, they can be used for machinery or so on. So you're giving them little, little excerpts, you're giving them advice on how to teach. They're planning their teaching and you keep moving around. You can use your time to manage behavior, keep students on task, keep them going. Now, the other thing is you notice that the teaching gets shorter. As this person has taught group one and then the other groups they come past, um, this person is getting better at teaching and so they get them down to from five minutes to four minutes. Quite often I say, I want them to only present for three minutes and that gets down to one minute. Um, I've seen a student who had no idea about, well, we actually did carbon, um, carbon nanotubes and they said, I have no idea what this is and they became the presenter. And I said, do you, do you think you could tell me all about this? And I said, I'd never be able to do this. By the end of it, he could explain carbon nanotubes in 30 seconds, right? And very succinctly and really understood their work because they've practiced it so many times. The good thing about getting one of your work, one of your poorer students to do this is quite often I'll put these like I'll put each of these five sections in a test, 
and I'll say, choose one of these and answer, answer the questions. So this one person who's answered, has gone and presented on this, has the option of going back to the stuff that they've, they've really understood, or they can do something else that, um, that other people have come back and explained to them. All right, so here, as we said, you, this is all the skills you're actually developing. Now, as a teacher, I could do this all myself. I could research it all. I could, um, I could research all the information I want to do. I could deliver all the content to the students. Um, they could then record it, and then I can test to see if they understood it. In this way, the students are researching. They're collaborating together to make sure that they understand it. Um, they're corroborating, right, so make sure that the, what what this person is delivering is the same as what the whole group has been researching and understands. This, um, they're presenting, so this, this group one person is presenting, but also these ones will present when they get back. There's ownership because they're owning the work and there's engagement. The entire class is working very hard, all, all lesson to get through everything. And as, as I said, as a teacher, you're, just, you're controlling and working on developing what they're doing. Okay, now that is the teaching tour. So here's just an example of some students doing the teaching tour. So this is the research section. So in this case, the students are using iPads, they're using the book, they're writing notes, and this student was the one that was going to be presenting. All right, so they're all researching what they're going to do, trying to identify everything they need to do. When we get to here, we now have this student presenting, and the other students have come past, and they're taking notes and recording everything they need to do to take back to their group. You can see some students are taking notes from a pad, um, some students are, are writing notes on their computer, in this case it's an iPad, this student has elected to deliver their content uh, through notes that she's done and talking back. Other students will actually do this by um, putting together a little PowerPoint on their computer. Other students will um, do it on a whiteboard or a, or a butcher's paper. But all students have the option of, of how they present and how they record and then how they give back their information to the original student.